Hey football fans! Welcome back to Footy Today, where we bring you the latest and greatest news in the world of football. Before we begin remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons as it does help the channel greatly. Don't forget to click on the bell notification icon to never miss a bite-sized story. Now, time for the news. Chelsea face setback as Napoli's Osman nears new contract amidst growing interest. Chelsea's pursuit of Victor Osman faces uncertainty as Napoli president Aurelio De Laurentiis hints at the striker signing a new contract. Osman's impressive goal-scoring record has attracted interest from top European clubs, including Chelsea, who were linked in the summer. Real Madrid has also expressed interest, posing a challenge for the London club. Despite previous tensions between Osman and Napoli, a new contract is reportedly imminent, potentially blocking a move. Napoli has safeguarded their interests with a £130 million release clause. Chelsea, in search of a prolific scorer, may face hurdles if Osman commits to Napoli, leaving their pursuit in jeopardy. Sticking with Chelsea Chelsea's £115 million midfielder Moses Caicedo faces structural challenges amidst team uncertainties and struggles for cohesion. Chelsea's £115 million acquisition of Moses Caicedo faced challenges as he joined a team without a settled starting eleven and experienced characters, complicating his immediate impact. The situation contrasts with Declan Rice's £105 million move to Arsenal, where cohesion prevails. Chelsea, struggling in the race for the top four despite a £1 billion spending spree, faces uncertainties with a young squad and potential winter transfers for goal-scoring solutions. Mauricio Pochettino emphasizes giving time to the emotional Caicedo and the entire developmental team, acknowledging the need for understanding and improvement. Chelsea's pursuit of success is challenged by a lack of obvious leaders, leading Pochettino to label them as a soft after a defeat to Newcastle. Despite the high expectations following Caicedo's signing, Chelsea's issues may be more structural and cultural, requiring patience and time for both Pochettino and Caicedo to integrate effectively. Eric Ten Hag defends under fire goalkeeper Andre Onana claiming he is the second best keeper in the league. Eric Ten Hag vehemently defends goalkeeper Andre Onana against recent criticism following a mistake ridden performance against Galatasaray that jeopardized Manchester United's Champions League standing. Despite Onana's errors, Ten Hag asserts that the Cameroonian will not be dropped for upcoming matches in the Premier League and Champions League. The manager expresses unwavering confidence in Onana's abilities, ranking him as the second-best goalkeeper in the Premier League this season after Alisson. Ten Hag acknowledges the potential for mistakes in football but emphasizes the team's collective responsibility to cover for them. While recognizing no player as undroppable, Ten Hag remains convinced that Onana will contribute to United winning trophies, rejecting the idea of dropping him for crucial upcoming fixtures. Arsenal eyes January move for Ivan Tony as key solution to scoring woes. Arsenal sporting director, Edu, is reportedly keen on securing the January signing of Brentford's Ivan Tony, viewed as Mikel Arteta's potential version of Erling Haaland. With midfield strengthening a priority, doubts over players like Elneny, Jorginho, and Partey have prompted considerations for a replacement like Douglas Lewis. However, the Gunners are also perceived to lack a prolific striker, prompting former Arsenal keeper David Seaman to endorse the signing of Tony for an estimated £80 million. While Tony is on Chelsea's radar, B's boss Thomas Frank downplays a potential January departure, emphasizing Tony's fitness and ambition. Arsenal's scoring deficit is evident, making Tony's goal-scoring prowess a potential game-changer for their title ambitions. On the flip side of things Arsenal's search for a midfielder may have taken a major blow. Mikel Arteta's pursuit of Douglas Lewis from Aston Villa may face a significant hurdle as Arsenal could be quoted an exorbitant fee, potentially exceeding the £60 million previously speculated. Despite Arteta considering Lewis as an ideal addition to strengthen Arsenal's midfield, Villa boss Unai Emery is keen to retain the Brazilian, crucial for Villa's top four aspirations. Stan Collimore, a Villa supporter and former striker, predicts Arsenal's failure in securing Lewis, comparing the potential asking price to West Ham's £105 million for Declan Rice. Collimore also suggests a challenging scenario for Ivan Toney's transfer from Brentford, anticipating the club's reluctance to let him go in January. Arsenal has identified alternatives, including RB Leipzig's Benjamin Sesko and Real Sociedad's Martin Zubamendi, but their lack of Premier League experience could pose adaptation challenges for Arteta. Liverpool's Wateru Endo admits to struggling in the Premier League. Liverpool's summer signing, Wateru Endo, acknowledges the challenges he has faced adapting to the fast-paced nature of the Premier League. 
the 30-year-old Japanese midfielder, brought in for £12 million from Stuttgart as a solution to Liverpool's defensive midfield concerns after Fabinho's departure, has primarily featured in the Europa League and Carabao Cup due to the manager's preference for Alexis McAllister in the Premier League. Despite a slow integration and limited starts, Endo expresses optimism about his growth as a player, emphasizing his readiness for upcoming opportunities. The midfielder acknowledges Liverpool's winning mentality, relishing the pressure, and aims to contribute defensively while enjoying the experience of playing with top-class teammates. Despite initial difficulties, Endo remains positive about his potential impact at Anfield. Middlesbrough faces challenge to retain standout Loney Sam Greenwood amid Premier League interest. Middlesbrough faces a challenge in retaining loan standout Sam Greenwood beyond this season, as the 21-year-old, deemed surplus to requirements at Leeds, excels with four goals and two assists in 13 appearances. Middlesbrough secured a season-long loan with an option to make the deal permanent for £1.5 million, contingent on Greenwood's agreement. However, interest from West Ham, Crystal Palace, Brentford, Fulham, Leicester, and Southampton adds competition. Greenwood's impressive performances could lead to a permanent stay, especially if Middlesbrough secures promotion. Meanwhile, Leeds boss Daniel Fark acknowledges the benefits of Greenwood's loan spell and expresses satisfaction with the player's progress. Despite missing Greenwood in the clash against Leeds due to loan terms, Middlesbrough hopes to navigate the situation for a successful campaign. Thank you for joining us in today's Football Headlines Recap. Stay tuned for more football updates, don't forget to subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep the passion for football alive. Cheers!